What is critical thinking? Critical thinking is the ability to think clearly and rationally, understanding the logical connection between ideas. Critical thinking has been the subject of much debate and thought since the time of early Greek philosophers such as Plato and Socrates, and has continued to be a subject of discussion into the modern age. For example, the ability to recognize fake news. Critical thinking might be described as the ability to engage in reflective and independent thinking. Coming up are seven ways how you can improve your own critical thinking skills. But before we come to that, let us understand why critical thinking is such a valuable skill. 1. It helps to improve decision-making. Critical thinking will let you make decisions by yourself. It will help you improve decision-making. For students, while making career decisions or making a new career move, it is crucial to make quick decisions, and hence critical thinking plays a vital role here. Two, it enhances your problem-solving ability. Problem-solving is the key skill required for adapting to changes and facing challenges. This skill of critical thinking should be developed by students to avoid making any situation complex and help find a solution to it. For instance, for two people, the same situation has been given and asked to find a solution for it. One person might take five minutes yet can't give a relevant solution, whereas another person with problem-solving ability will dedicate enough time to research and will provide a relevant solution. 3. It refines your researching skills. Critical thinking will refine your researching skills. Moreover, it will help you research accurately by observing, analyzing, synthesizing, experimenting with every aspect and detail for a better result. 4. It polishes your creativity. It will help you polish your creative side. Creativity has unquestionably defined itself as a requisite skill for having in the collaborative modern workforce, as critical thinking will surely polish your creativity. 5. It stimulates curiosity. It stimulates curiosity in you to find the right solution for the problem or the subject you're working on. Curiosity will let you dig and delve deeper to get a better result. This factor will let you stay a lifelong learner. Keeping in mind these benefits, there is no wonder why recruiters are actively seeking critical thinkers for high-level job positions and educational institutions are inculcating this subject in their curriculum directly or indirectly. Critical thinking skills are important, both professionally and personally, and here are seven ways how you can become a critical thinker. 1. Ask basic questions. Sometimes an explanation becomes so complex that the original question get lost. To avoid this, Continually go back to the basic questions you ask when you set out to solve the problem. Here are a few key basic questions you can ask when approaching any problem. What do you already know? How do you know that? What are you trying to prove, disprove, demonstrate it, gritty, etc.? What are you overlooking? Some of the most breathtaking solutions to problems are astounding not because of their complexity but because of their elegant simplicity. Seek the simple solution first. Two, question basic assumptions. Some of the greatest innovators in human history were those who simply looked up for a moment and wondered if one of everyone's general assumptions was wrong. From Newton to Einstein to Yudang Jang. Questioning assumptions is where innovation happens. You don't even have to be an aspiring Einstein to benefit from questioning your assumptions. That trip you've wanted to take, that hobby you've wanted to try, that internship you've wanted to get, that attractive person in your world civilization's class you've wanted to talk to. All these things can be a reality if you just question your assumptions and critically evaluate your beliefs about what's prudent, appropriate, or possible. Three. Be aware of your mental processes. Human thought is amazing, 
but the speed and automation with which it happens can be a disadvantage when we're trying to think critically. Our brains naturally use heuristics, mental shortcuts to explain what's happening around us. This was beneficial to humans when we were hunting large game and fighting off wild animals, but it can be disastrous when we're trying to decide who to vote for. A critical thinker is aware of their cognitive biases and personal prejudices and how they influence seemingly objective decisions and solutions. All of us have biases in our thinking. Becoming aware of them is what makes critical thinking possible. 4. Try reversing things. A great way to get unstuck on a hard problem is to try reversing things. It may seem obvious that X causes Y, but what if Y caused Dex? The chicken and egg problem a classic example of this. At first, it seems obvious that the chicken had to come first. The chicken lays the egg, after all. But then you quickly realize that the chicken had to come from somewhere. And since chickens come from eggs, the egg must have come first. Or did it? Even if it turns out that the reverse isn't true, considering it can set you on the path to finding a solution. 5. Evaluate the existing evidence. When you're trying to solve a problem, it's always helpful to look at other work that has been done in the same area. There's no reason to start solving a problem from scratch when someone has already laid the groundwork. It's important, however, to evaluate this information critically, or else you can easily reach the wrong conclusion. Ask the following questions any evidence you encounter. Who gathered this evidence? How did they gather it? Why? Take, for example, a study showing the health benefits of a sugary cereal. On paper, the study sounds pretty convincing. That is, until you learn that a sugary cereal company funded it. You can't automatically assume that this invalidates the study's results, but you should certainly question them when a conflict of interests is so apparent. 6. Remember to think for yourself. Don't get so bogged down in research and reading that you forget to think for yourself. Sometimes this can be your most powerful tool. Writing about Einstein's paper on the electrodynamics of moving bodies, the paper that contained the famous equation Me equals square MC2, CP, Snow observed that it was as if Einstein had reached the conclusions by pure thought, unaided, without listening to the opinions of others to a surprisingly large extent. That is precisely what he had done. Don't be overconfident, but recognize that thinking for yourself is essential to answering tough questions. 7. Understand that no one thinks critically 100% of the time. You can't think critically all the time, and that's okay. Critical thinking is a tool that you should deploy when you need to make important decisions or solve difficult problems, but you don't need to think critically about everything. And even in important matters, you will experience lapses in your reasoning. What matters is that you recognize these lapses and try to avoid them in the future. Remember, these ways will not make you a perfect thinker in a day. But by being mindful of these practices and principles, you can change your habits gradually and significantly sharpen your critical thinking skill. Psycho will come up with more related videos to help you improve your thinking and become a smarter individual. Until then, keep improving and be well.